Hey, this is Alexis with Through the Lens, and I'm here with Kevin from Superjoint. Hello, hello. Um, all right, Kevin, so how's the festival been treating you this oh, year? It's awesome. It's awesome every year. It is. I saw you guys yeah. last year. And yeah, last it year. Was awesome. It was awesome. It was, was our first show in like 11, uh, Jesus, 11, 12 years. So that was that was exciting, but this was fun too. It's it awesome. Fun. King Diamond was awesome the other day. Oh night. my gosh, I know. It was, that was Wasn't the first that time I got to see King Diamond. Oh my so. gosh. Amazing. He'll be in, we're from Dallas, so he'll be in Dallas on the 4th. Oh wow, so, so you get to see him again? I'll see him again. Yes. Um, Perfect. So are there any bands here that you haven't heard before that caught your ear? Um... You or know, whose like performance was like particularly like I'm gonna be honest with you, I played the show the other night and kinda of been in my hotel room the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I like peep out every once in a while, see what's happening and then So you've been a recluse. <laughs> yeah, well yeah, I mean the first day, God I did so much walking, my feet were fucking Sounds like a pity party, but oh, no, my sorry. feet were fucking killing me, man. So yeah, I kind of took the, last night the off. The good you know? support converse. Yeah, the, yeah. The, yes. My flat feet. So. I think we walked uh, like seven miles the first day. Yeah. And then we walked like close to nine miles the yeah, second day. Yeah, so. that's crazy. Yeah. My is. feet still hurt. So uh, when you guys are writing music, like, where do you draw inspiration from? Is there something that's been particularly inspiring that's like fueled your creativity? Mm, I don't know if it's so much anything like that. It's just when we all get in a room together, just ideas start flying around, you know. Um, sometimes you have riffs that you've held on for for a while that come back up. But, uh, most of the time, it's just getting in the room and beating it out, just you know. Yeah, ideas throwing around. ideas around and see what happens. Do y'all make the like music? parts first and then lyrics or is it usually lyrics first and then it really doesn't have any kind of set thing to it um phillips always got lyrics or some kind of you know he's always writing stuff down writing notes down writing lines down so um it's like a stockpile and then it just yeah i don't know together. if it yeah i was gonna say i don't know if it's so much like you know we all right here's this riff these let's write lyrics around this they just kind of always intertwine somehow and get done nice well it comes out amazing so thank you <laughs> okay, yeah welcome. um how did you get involved in music like was it like you're walking down the street and you see like instruments and oh like, no oh, um like, no <laughs> man my mom and dad were big into music and, and um, art and all that so i've been doing it since probably since i was born i guess you know that's awesome um I mean, I really didn't really start getting into it until maybe I was like 15 or 16, playing music. But it was always around the house. You know, my mom made us, me and my brother take piano lessons when we were young, and we hated them, and I wish I would have taken them now still. If I, yeah, if I ever you know? have kids, like, I'm going to get them into music. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, absolutely. Um, what did your parents do? Like, are they musicians, or what kind of art? No, my mom is a nurse. My dad was a doctor, but they always just appreciated music. I mean, grew up with music in the house every day, all day. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and, how uh, family, that's good parenting. Right? Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, every kid should know some form of art one way or the other. Absolutely. I completely agree. Um, what's your take on the crowds now these days? Like, since cell phones and social media is so big, like, yeah. everyone's like this. Yeah. Rather than well, I mean, Philip says it every time we play. It's like, how are you going to enjoy a show when you're doing yeah. this the whole like, time, you know? It's, it's like, you know, I, I feel bad for the young kids these days because that's what they know. It's like, uh, I know you watch I everything. I mean, when, when I, you know, when I grew up, when we grew up growing to the shows, there were no fucking cell phones, yeah. cell phones. Yeah, you and, and a camera took up too much space in your pocket, man. There's other <laughs> things to put in your pocket yeah. besides the camera, the phone. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I... I, you know, I get it. They want to film stuff, and they still get into it. But how do you really get into a show when you're, you know, you're watching it through a camera? Yeah. You're supposed to be bouncing around, jumping up and down and stuff. Yeah, I had been too much last night. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. My neck still it. hurts. <laughs> it does. I mean, hopefully one day they'll catch on. Um. Keep the phones in the pocket. Yeah. Experience. Life. I don't mind people, but you know, I don't mind people taking pictures or filming or whatever. But just standing there the whole time, you know. I love how you guys do the uh, the picture where y'all are facing and the crowds behind. Yeah, the show. yeah. Like, have y'all always done that, or is that like something that's newer? Uh, we've done it in the past. I mean, I wish we should have did it for every show. That would have been awesome. Starting way a back timeline. when, yeah, <laughs> timeline. But um, no, nah, I guess it was just a spur of the moment thing. 
I remember playing playing Friday night. I looked around. And there were just people with cameras all around me. I was like, how do all these people get on the fucking stage? <laughs> Obviously, Phil told him that, you know, come on yes. up and take pictures. So it's like, next thing I know, it was like 10 fucking cameras. Yeah, I was like, going to wow. get up there, but then I was like, no, all the photographers are up there now. I can get some really good shots. Yeah, exactly. You can get shots from the <laughs> front, so I took right? I advantage of that. Cause yeah, perfect. Um, what are you listening to right now? Jeez. Uh, man, I'm like stuck in the 60s and 70s. Nice. Like, that's all I really, whatever, what I grew up listening to, it's the same thing I listen to now. Zeppelin, Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Celtic Frost. The awesome and classics. I kind of don't deviate. I'm kind of, I hate to say it, but like a music snob, man. Like I don't really listen to a lot of new stuff. Or, yeah, it's a lot of the. You know, I'm stuck in the 70s rock, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite horror film? God, someone asked me this the other day, and I was like, man, I don't know if I can pinpoint. It's a hard yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like there's so fucking many of them, man. I was telling them, like, I can remember, it's not really considered a horror movie, but like Jaws scared the living bejesus out of me when it came out. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, there's the <laughs> Halloween's a classic, Evil Dead's a classic, The Omen. There's, 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 Jesus, there's so many of them, man. The Thing. John Carpenter's the thing. Um, are there any remakes that you liked? I think most of them are, or a lot of them are terrible. But. Mm, God, remakes that I like. Yeah, I actually, Billy, Dawn of the Dead was pretty good, the remake. Yeah. yeah like with them. the fat zombies. That was, that was That's all right. a little terrifying. Like, yeah. I have to deal with zombies that are like Walking Dead, yeah. sludgy, slow. But. but for a remake, that's like one that I could watch. The new Evil Dead wasn't too, too bad. That was all right. That was better than I expected. It was better than I expected. I mean, it's never going to come close to the original, but, like, the uh, graphics in it were pretty good. Um, They weren't overdone. No. They weren't. Um, Other remakes. Yeah, no, I talked to Mark. I said, let's do something about... I don't know. What's yours? (laughs) You got one? Texas Chainsaw Massacre is my number one. Oh, see, that's a good one, too. You can't say what's your favorite (laughs) horror movie. It's impossible to answer that question. (laughs) I yeah, that wasn't that a bad was. remake, I guess. That was all right. The, not the original. I, don't, I didn't like the remake. For, as far as remake, I w- I'd have to go with uh, Dawn of the Dead also. Yeah, it was not bad, right? That's, that one was was done well. The fast zombies are terrifying. Yeah. You know what I did see not too long ago that I was kind of surprised? It's like, I need to carry. The remake of Carrie wasn't too bad for a Hollywood remake of yeah. a movie. It wasn't too, too shabby. Yeah, it wasn't. It was but you can't beat the originals. It's like, why even do it? Why are you even remaking a movie? It's yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz is like... <laughs> yeah, a it's a little... Uh, <laughs> a little cheesy. Yeah, a little cheesy. Um, what's next for Superjoint? Y'all have anything in the works? Or yeah, well, we're uh, starting to write a new record. Awesome. So I think that's what's going to happen um, for probably the rest of this year. Uh, December, maybe into January. And do a new record and hopefully go back out for a while. Heck yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. It's really exciting. I think so. All right, that's uh, Is that I it. I don't want to take too much of your time up. I know you guys have. I'm fine, huh? Whatever you got. No, I'm well, good. Then, I'll, I'll keep talking to you then. Um, go right ahead. So, if music wasn't what you ended up doing as a career, what would you. Like, Jeez. What would you wow. <laughs> I like questions that make you think. Yeah, <laughs> boy, are you making me. I'm glad it's later in the afternoon. My brain's kind of working. Um. You know, I did do pre-med for a little while, way back when. I thought I wanted to be a doctor, and then music came back around. I thought I wanted to be an architect for a while, too, really bad. Architecture's awesome. I love looking yeah. at architecture. I'm terrible at math, though. I am horrible at fucking math. <laughs> and then, uh, just recently, I actually did go back to school and got a degree in business and for uh, pastry arts. Oh, awesome. So I'm a pastry chef, too. That's really cool. Yeah. So I've been, I was doing that for the last five or six years till they dragged me back in doing this shit again. <laughs> I mean, this is just when I thought I was either. out. No, it's, just, it's, it's hard work, tough life, hard. <laughs> it's like one of those jobs that it's like it's work, but you love doing it. Oh, yeah, so. fucking a, of course. How can you not? And getting to meet people yeah. and travel. And I mean, just look at this event this whole weekend. Man. It's crazy. Yeah, I love this. It's really, really cool. Man. Last year after it ended, I was like sad for like a few months, like. I have to wait a whole year. You gotta wait a whole another year. <laughs> it's like it should be like a month long. <laughs> yeah, I know it should be. I agree. That'd be awesome. Exhausting. They might get but... sick of us here at the hotel. But... 
The might. elevators definitely would be broke by then. <laughs> yeah, that's they're a little bit sketchy right now. <laughs> they are. There's the, the out of order one. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I miss anything on here? There's a uh, one song that defines super joint. Golly. What would you say? Mm. Or one an album. song, one song. Song or album? First album for sure. First album that definitely defines God. Um, Jesus, man, you have some tough I make questions, it woman. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fuck your enemy, of course, always. Is there one that you like? Just love playing, like the like if it's on the set list, you like get super pumped. I like playing two songs and waiting for the turning point and Ozzy. <laughs> and fuck your enemy. <laughs> you just like playing. <laughs> I just like playing them all, man. Sure, yeah. I haven't played them in 11 years. You gotta like playing all of them. Yeah. It's awesome stuff. Yeah, I would say all of them. Fuck your enemy probably would be the one that defines the band probably the most, I would think. Because everybody thinks that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. One more question for sure. you. Uh, so Phil has this awesome horror collection. Is there anything that you collect? You know, I don't, and I wish I did. I wish I was like a collector, but I don't. It like, gets expensive. I talk, God, it's ridiculous, man. I was, it's like if I had every guitar, every amp that I owned, I could fill up half this room probably, but I don't. That would be but I should, you know what I mean? It's like, why you should. I, it's never too late why to start. Wasn't, why wasn't I a collector, man? Just collection. I don't I, just collect I mean, I got friends that got like 30 guitars. I got like two, if I'm lucky. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I can find both of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. Maybe I'll start. Star Wars collection, a Wonder Woman collection. Jesus, Records. Really? Yeah, it can get expensive, man. And Hello pricey Kitty. doing that shit. Oh, Hello Kitty. Yes. <laughs> Got to throw that in somewhere. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, it does get pricey, but it's worth it, though, right? It is. It's cool. That's what my dining room is. There's, It's just a wall of... Toys. Nice. Yes. Yeah, but see, those can be a good investment too. Cause especially with Star Wars. Price. Yeah, Star yeah. Wars, especially now. Yeah. Shit's coming back out. Yes. Everywhere. All right, Kevin, thank you so much for your time. Thank it was you, awesome huh? chatting with it you. It was awesome chatting with you guys. You got everything?